Yo, what's going on, guys? And here's a great little article written by Donantes Your Bonus, Your Bonus from basketnews.com. Shout out Basket News for this. And in a interview with the assistant director of pro personnel with the Denver Nuggets, he told Don Donantes in an interview, listen to this. This is a routine that Nicole Jokic, Nikola Jokic started a few years ago. So listen to this. On game day, he arrives to the game. He does his stuff. A nice little shoot around. Every player has their own routine. And then you know, Jokic, personal coach, has a total of three players at most under his watch during the season. He works with Jokic for 20 to 30 minutes. Another player comes on the coach. And then Jokic and his personal trainer, they do all their thing, their video analysis. But the interesting part about this is when his games finish, when the Nuggets game finish, I'll be reading an expert from here. The Serbian superstar goes directly after the game to the exercise facility and does extra workouts. He works out whether he played 25 minutes in a 30 point blowout or played an entirety of 52 minutes in a four overtime thriller. Okay, he, he goes in basically right as soon as the game ends and starts working with some resistant bands and dumbbells and wraps it all up with some stretching. And according to Martianis Pocius, this was a routine he started three years ago and he's done this every single game with the athletic trainers and hasn't skipped a routine for the last three years. And people, he says it's not just talent, it's hard work. And he says this hard work becomes part of the culture. It's became ingrained. It's because it's contagious. At this point, when you look after a game, allegedly with the Denver Nuggets, half the team's working out with Jokic. And Jokic and the other Nuggets stars have nine individual skill coaches. And according to Pocius, each club has five to eight such specialists, some even more. And player development is such an important part of a team and people don't like realize that it's not just team practices it's the player development coaches and how important they are for the development of said players and people don't realize i think this is a great great article and this is something that people don't realize is that people don't understand that the nba schedule is wild that you play a different team every day or every other day and you can't you know place the weight of team practices like a lot of it is on individual development and people don't realize regular five on five practices are only held during the off season and then once the regular season starts that's that's virtually ex you know extinct until playoff time or if you have a group you know if you're having some problems and you're trying to instill stuff and the coaches who aren't even on the bench they're responsible for the player development okay and people need to start you know realizing how big player development is because focusing on individual strong guards and then individually like not individually focusing on individuals being able to create their own shots during certain possessions that are important or being able to emphasize individual skills. And there's this is something that's important and something that the Denver Nuggets have shown. The Denver Nuggets are an example of good player development in the NBA. And I think this was a good article on it. I wanna hear your thoughts. This was a little short video. I don't know what else to talk about, but I'm a girl. I got an NBA NFL channel and an NBA show you should check out. I love y'all, go peep it all. Bye. Also, check me out on social media.